Hello, this is Jacob L. Taylor, and today I'm going to do a review of the Nintendo Entertainment System, or NES. My version is the NES version, which is just the PAL version. In my earlier video, you may have seen that it was working flawlessly. Since then, it's stopped working like they always do, and I've deactivated the NES lockout chip so it can play import games. NES was released in 1985 by Nintendo and it resurrected the video game industry after the video game crash of 1983. There were many titles released for the NES such as Mario, Mega Man, Donkey Kong, games like that and I think it's a very good system but there were many problems. For example, you can't really, really can't see but there there's the cartridge connector and the idea that you put the games in, push them down, that was a bad design because the pin is bent and I got corroded easily because the design isn't what normal game consoles were like. They wanted to make it look more like a VHS player, video player, but the games for it are very good when they're working. As you can see the controllers are classic, iconic of the design of the bars, grey bars, red buttons, A, B, D-pad, which Nintendo invented, select button, start button, which that's usually pause in games, so selecting games for some games or other games have different features. It's the back, just Nintendo controller. Control ports are a bit strange. As you can see, it's like a seven pin, but it's a bit different to normal connectors, and they just go in like so. Let's take a look at some of my games that I have for the system. First of all, I have the NES cleaning kit, which you really need if you have a Nintendo Entertainment System, because they always break. I have Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Bros. 2, which is just a clone of Doki Doki Panic, which is a Famicom game, so you can't save. Here's Super Mario Bros. 3, probably one of the best games on the NES. Mario is missing. It's rubbish. Didn't know, I didn't know what it was when I was buying it, so I played it and it was rubbish. And I have Shadow Gate, which you can save, which is good, it's quite a good game. Next I have Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Jr. Next, Battletoads and Double Dragon. It's a good game. Next, I have a puzzle game, Tetris. This is a good game. I'd recommend it. Good music, good gameplay. Next, Dr. Mario. This game is very good as well. It's kind of like a port of Tetris but altered. Next, I have a Defender of the Crown. This isn't very good really. There's only a quid box, so I can't really moan. Next I have a slightly grubby cartridge of Mega Man 2. This game is brilliant. You have to buy it if you have a NES. And you like classic shooters like games. Next I have Spider-Man Return to Sinister 6. This game says if you can read it. That it cannot be used in the NES version, which I have, but where I deactivated the lockout chip, it allows me to play it. And finally I have Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. I guess they changed the name from Ninja to Hero because some sort of religious references or something. Because that's what Nintendo are like. So let's try one of these games, say. Super Mario Bros. Put the game in. Push it down. the title screen of Super Mario Bros. See Mario, one or two player, you go change to two player or one player by pressing down and up. Skip some volume. Start to start the game. World 1-1. One, one. Move with the D-pad, jump away. You hold the sprint. Thank you. 
graphics aren't overly brilliant, but the gameplay is good and it's a classic game. Get power ups and everyone knows what Mario Bros. is. So, in conclusion, the Nintendo Entertainment System on NES is a very good system, I'd recommend picking it up. And as usual, check back on my channel for more videos coming soon. That's all for now, bye.